Hi all, thank you for joining this presentation, which is on the instrument cluster demo app based on Flutter for the AGL. So let me first introduce myself. My name is Akash Solanki. I am from India. I am currently I am a student at Indian Institute of Technology Mandi, and from couple of months I am working on the project AGL, the Automotive Grid Linux, and I I got int introduced to AGL by Google Summer of Code. I was also a software developer intern at Samsung R&D, Bangalore, here at India. So the topics which we are covering in this presentation are these. The so first one, I'll talk about the graphic side of the instrument cluster app. Next, I'll talk about the backend side, like how we are getting the data. And then I'll talk about how I added the app to the AGL demo platform. Let's start with the first point, the graphic side. So to develop the graphic side of the app, I use Flutter. So Flutter is an open source framework developed by Google to build multi-platform apps. And we can build apps for like any platform, like using one code base, we can build app for Android, for iOS, for macOS, for Windows, and for Linux also. So in the UI part of the app, we have few elements. So we have two gauges, one for speedometer, one for tachometer. Then we have the turn signal indicators. Then here we have some signals like for lane assist, for high beam, low beam, and this is for gear selection. So we have few indicators. And in the mid part, we can also get a navigation, which is this. So when we give a certain when we give a certain signal we can get this navigation so this navigation is built using open street map and open route services so open street map is used to use for map tiles and open route service is used to get this get this path like between source between the current location and the destination which is which can be set by user and so let's talk about the backend part so to get these details about this, the, the speed, the RPM and all these signals, like what's the state of these signals. So we have to first get the data from a server, which is Cooksa well server. So Cooksa well server provides us signals. So we can read these signals and get the data to a particular signal. Like we can get a data to the speed signal. We can get data from the tachometer signal. So it provides signals to the VSS data and we can also add custom signals to the VSS data using this Cook server server. So for this application, we have also added some custom signals. So one of this is used to enable this map so that we can go from this screen to this screen. So which is the steering wheel switch. So yeah. So after that, we connect to the Cook server server using WebSockets. When we are connected to the Cooksa well server, then we listen for the data in the data stream from the web sockets. Now, whenever the data arrives, we parse the data and update update the values. And then we show the home screen, which is this one. Now, I will talk about how the app is added to the AGL demo platform. So to add the app to the AGL demo platform, I first created a recipe with the with the Flutter app and with the Cooksa well server. Then I created a new image. So to run the AGL version of the app, we first need a open route service account, and we also need a open route service API key to get the path between source and destination. So if we do not provide that key, we will only get the tile map tile. And if you want to try out this app, you can check out my GitHub or you can check out this detailed guide on docs.automotivelinux.org, which shows the steps to build the AGL version of the app. And you can also follow the video guide, which is available on the YouTube to build the AGL version of the app and also the without AGL. Yes, thank you. That's it from my side. If you have any queries and feedbacks, I'm happy to answer them.